Okay, we are finishing up the three-part answer prompted by the great question Cindy Watskill asked, which was, you've interviewed some of the most successful and influential people of all time. What are the most common characteristics that struck you when you met these people? The final of these three overarching characteristics of the world's top achievers and influencers is, they have a sacred value of time. Most people say that they understand that time is money, yet freely give away their time to things they wouldn't pay money for. They wouldn't subscribe to YouTube for $1,500 a month, but that is literally what it costs. They wouldn't subscribe to Facebook and for Instagram for $1,875 a month, but that is literally what it is costing them. They wouldn't sign up for a cable bill or a Netflix subscription for $9,000 a month, but that is literally what it costs. They wouldn't spend $1,350 a month for the unexpected got a minute knocks at their door, text messages, or pop-up notifications, but that is literally what it costs if that was only happening three times a day. They wouldn't spend $8,175 a month for the luxury of procrastinating to start important projects each day, but that is literally what it is costing. And those numbers are only calculated by the average time spent on, the, on those things with an income of $150,000 a year. If your income is higher than that, then it exponentially goes up from there. Super achievers don't just know that time is actual money. They actually treat their time as valuable as sacred and as a finite asset as it is. They know whatever they give their attention to, their life force to, there is a cost and they will only allocate it towards those things that give them a leveraged return on investment in productivity, in contribution, in happiness, and in lifestyle. So let's put this back on you. You know all of this too. I am not telling you anything this morning that you don't already know. Time is money. You know that, right? But yet you keep handing over your money freely to Mark Zuckerberg, to Jack Dorsey, to even Evan Spiegel, and to all those people you don't even really care about online. You are more committed to your compulsive voyeurism than you are the realizing of your own potential. You keep donating your money to the bank accounts of Reed Hastings at Netflix, to the bank account of Wolf Blitzer, at CNN and Sean Hannity at Fox, you are more committed to your fear of missing out than you are to living out your own life. You keep throwing your money away to those whom you have opened the door and windows to tug, pull, and distract you all day via email, text messages, notifications, knocks at the door, and your own procrastination. You are more committed to your excuses than you are your actual productivity. Why? Because you do know this and you do know what to do, but yet you still allow yourself to get sucked in. Why? Here's why. The environment around you has become more psychologically powerful than your individual psychology can resist. I'll say it to you straight. If you don't invest in the training to learn how to self-manage, in this powerfully addictive, attention, distracting, modern world that we live in today, the opportunity cost it will have on your potential, on your future, on your ability to realize your goals and deliver for your family is immense. Right now, I'm telling you, and you are not going to like to hear this, you are not in control. The culture, the environment around you, the communication devices that are in your pockets and in your hands. The FOMO seduction dealers have reign over you and it is evident in your results and in your stress levels. Every minute, every day that goes by that you don't have mastery over your attention, over your focus and your creative capacity. You are losing so much money just because you can't see it coming out of your bank account and out of your pockets and out of your wallet doesn't mean it isn't happening. If we took the value of your potential, what you could achieve, produce, what you could perform and output and create, if we handed you the value of that sum, then throughout the day, you actually had to pull out your wallet and pay to open up your email client, pay to watch that YouTube video, pay to take that knock at the door, 
pay to extend your lunch 15 minutes, pay to binge watch that show late into the night. If you could see the money that was pouring out of your pockets, I think you'd straighten up your act. The problem is you cannot see it, but it is still happening. All day you are just flushing your money, your potential, your life force away, flushing it, gone, never to be recaptured again. When the fuse of your life that is burning down, even as we speak here, gets to the end and your light goes out, you will then be able to look back and see fully what could have been, the life you could have had, the man or woman you could have been, but weren't. This will be your greatest regret, that you gave away most of your money, your value, your time, your life force, your capacity, your attention to the wrong things and the wrong people. You wasted the most precious gift that you were given. You wasted most of your sacred life. You knew what to do, but you didn't. You have to decide. Do you still want to be a slave to your primitive compulsions, your emotional temptations? and psychological addictions, which all have these seductive and manipulative distraction dealers leveraging over you? Or do you wanna take back control of your life? Stop living like a ping pong ball, being slapped around by everybody else's agenda and learn the practices, gain the tools and implement the strategies of self mastery. It's simply a choice backed by actually taking action. So Cindy, and everybody else. There you have it, the answers you sought on what the common characteristics are of the most successful and influential. It's not complicated, it's simple. Simple, but not easy. Why people don't do the simple, the obvious is beyond me. No matter how many times they hear it, no matter what opportunity they are presented and is laid at their feet to get better, to draw a hard line in the sand on and to change, they don't. That part, I don't understand the answer to. Some will, some won't. I don't know why. All I know is I'm here for those that will. Here on the Darren Hardy A-Team, we exist to be a guide for those who choose to be the exception, for those who desire to be great, to contribute greatly and to make an impact. So tell us, what do you choose to contribute with the precious time and sacred life that you've been given? Share that with us in the comments below.